Hi there, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be discussing about Terraform, Bicep, or Pillow So what you should learn as infrastructure as a code in 2025. So what thing you should choose if you're starting a new project or a DevOps career. So this could like save your weeks of trial and error. So I'll just give you a quick comparison between three of them, Terraform, uh, Bicep, and Pillow So in this video, like basically I will break down three of them into five categories. The first language, ecosystem, ease of use, or CICD integration, as well as the community support. And it will help you to decide which one you should choose as per your scenario. So let's start. So the very first thing, the language. So we have the Terraform, that is HashiCorp configuration language from the HashiCorp. And Bicep, that is a domain-specific language for ARM templates. Pulumi, that is a real programming language. We use a TypeScript, Python, Go, et cetera. And when we talk about the ecosystem and the cloud support, Terraform is a multi-cloud and biggest provider support. Bicep, only Azure. Pulumi, if you talk about it, multi-cloud as well as Kubernetes. And it is also new providers also getting added to it. When we talk about ease of use, Bicep is very simple. Syntax for Azure, Terraform. Mature docs and many examples are available online on the internet. Huge portal is there from that. We can quickly copy paste the things. Pulumi, it is easier if you're a developer, but if you are uh, not from a development background, it will be quite difficult for you because there will be a learning curve involved for the DevOps guys. So if you are not from a development background, you may feel a little bit difficulties in adopting to Pulumi. So when we talk about CI, CD and uh, GitOps integration, so Terraform is already having a built-in state management. Terraform Cloud and backend, we can use it. In terms of why the usage is there for the Terraform, in terms of Bicep, we can integrate into Azure DevOps pipelines. And in case of Pulumi, we have a strong, it, it is quite strong with the GitHub Actions, but needs some extra setup for state as well as the backend. So in terms of CICD, we have these three differences we have. And last, not the least, this one is like a community and learning curve. Terraform is a massive, massive community. But in terms of Bicep, it is still uh, quickly growing. Azure Docs integration, uh, lots of documents are available on the internet. Pulumi, it is their first great docs, but a smaller ecosystem. But still, it is uh, like it is developing quite well, and it is being adopted in many places. So. The final word, it will be like if you are Azure focused, so Bicep is awesome and clean. But if you are a multi-cloud and enterprise use, a Terraform, I will say it's still the king. So because of its massive community, because of its built-in state management, because of uh, mature documents and examples available online, as well as the uh, biggest provider support is there. So all these things factors make Terraform as a king. So if you are from a dev background, definitely you can go ahead with the Pulumi and you can write your infrastructure as a code, like code. So it is like uh, quite fun and powerful. You can utilize it, Pulumi, in your DevOps journey, in your DevOps lifecycle. So do drop a comment in the videos, video comment section. Let me know which one you're using right now and which one is easier for you. And uh, in the very next video, I'll be trying my best to take three of them and do the same example. So we can side by side, we can compare and we can check the easiness of using uh, this three IAC. So do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.